Fathers, it can be a touchy subject, but more than anything, if we allow ourselves to open our hearts, it opens up a space where we can make peace, find joy, and find celebration, and that's why we're here. When I moved to Minnesota, I didn't put my stuff in a suitcase and get here. I got a one-way ticket, y'all, to a palatial estate on a lake in the state of 10,000 lakes. You know, and 10,000 treatment centers. <laughs> Come on now. I'm going all the way. <laughs> I may be down sometimes. Yes. Well, I wasn't down once I landed here in Minnesota. And if it hadn't been for my father who saved my life. Amen. He truly did, y'all. And my loving family, my aunt, my brother, my all the members of my family who made this process possible for me. I couldn't be here, from Mary Hall to the Dorothy Day Center to homeless shelters to standing in a stage, on a stage filled with people celebrating fathers. Addiction brought me to my greater yet to be. And it brought me to this space that I can be welcomed by all of you and give me a chance to welcome my father, because something happened that's really powerful for me. Once I got my first apartment, <laughs> found myself a space to live and to grow, I got me a job, called my father on the phone and said, look, dad, look here. I paid my bills. I got everything worked out. I finally got it all worked out. My bills taken care of, my life working in the right direction. He said, son, you were raised to do that. When you've done something that goes a step further, mm. call me, we can celebrate. Because that's what we, we were raised to do. Amen. Woo. That wore me out. <laughs> and made it possible for me to move on the way mm -hmm. to being an arts educator, mm -hmm. a professor at the University of Minnesota, yeah. Emmy Award winner, right. regional, but I got one. Amen. It's a gold statue, y'all. So, I want to talk about my father and bring him out here. So, would y'all like to meet my dad? Yeah. Now, Papa Rambo, Dr. Lewis M. Rambo, would you come on out, please? All right. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all. That's who, who got me here. <laughs> Why you want to be clowning? <laughs> now, this man here speaks several languages fluently, a respected professor, practitioner, industrial psychologist, a lot of other stuff. Oh, come on, Dad. No mas, no mas. No, mas, no more, huh? That's right. Stop it. Stop it? All right. Well, of course, now you won't remember, you'll remember that when I was growing up, you would sing songs to me. You wouldn't get out of bed. Neither would your brother. Wouldn't you what? You wouldn't get out of bed. Well, uh, I, I, I had to get I out of bed. I had to sing. Well, just, or, you know, get a paddle or something. Well, or something. Well, now, would you all like to hear this man sing? No! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to hear him sing? Yeah! All right. All right, now, this is one of the tunes he'd wake me up in the morning with. You ready? When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along. There'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his old sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. Kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin goes by. 